Hi, my name is Pavi, and I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be playing the therapist, and this is Taryn, she's going to be playing the client, and we are working on the logotherapy. Um, in our initial session, we talked about the different, uh, different types of therapies and decided that we were going to work on logotherapy. So, let's get started. Hi, Taryn, how are you doing today? I'm doing okay, I'm doing okay. All right. I know last time we were here, we talked about logotherapy and that we were going to kind of use that. Um, you've been saying you were depressed and logotherapy is, you know, a good type of therapy that we can use in order to help find meaning in our lives. Because as individuals, we like to find meaning and purpose in our world, okay? And if we lose the meaning and purpose that we have, um, individuals, you know, like yourself, begin to feel a little down and depressed and they come to therapy kind of, you know, looking for some help. So when some people lose the meaning and purpose in their life, we use logotherapy to help them find that meaning in their life again, okay? okay. So there's two types of logotherapy and those are, um, you know, for persons that are not living life exactly the way that they want to and they want to find that meaning again or there's also the type that we use for people who suffered a really big loss, um, really big sorrow in their life. But for us, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with the one that we consider it's called live dead or die living, mm -hmm. okay, which is the one that you kind of feel right now that you're living dead because you're just a little, eh, and you don't feel like you have meaning. We're going to try to find that meaning again for you, okay? okay. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay, so go ahead and tell me a little bit about why you're here. Well, for one, I'm just... Just dealing with my job, I just feel like I have, like, the lack of drive. I just feel so stuck where I'm at right now. And it's like, I'm a receptionist right now. And it's like, I have in my MBA, and it's like, I have a business degree, and I want to be able to open up my own business one, one day. And oh. it's just, I just feel stuck. Okay. I'm just unhappy where I am and just not motivated at all. So what I'm hearing is that you have this business degree, and... Mm -hmm. You're kind of working at a position that you feel a little beneath you, that you're stuck, that, and you want to move up. Is that what, what yes, I'm getting? Yes, exactly. All right, so what we're going to do is we have this thing called a search for meaning inventory, and we're going to go ahead and fill that out together. Let me just grab my pen here. Okay, so what it is is we look at your current self and your authentic self, which is kind of what you want to be, what you're looking for in life, Okay. And then we just find in the middle, we kind of find the discrepancy of what's stopping you so that we can move forward and come up with some goals to get you to your authentic self. So you mentioned lack of drive. So let's go ahead and put that down here under your current self. Mm -hmm. And what else that you're... Unhappy. Unhappy, um, okay. Unmotivated. All right. And I'm just like so bored at, at work and what I do. Okay, and where do you want yourself to be? Well, definitely I want to be able to be motivated at going to work. I want to be able to help me manage my own business or own company. Okay, so motivated. I'm going to be happy at what I do. Okay. You want... You I'm going to be... Want, a, again, I want to be excited to go to work. Okay, good. And enjoy what you're doing. And I, exactly. All right, so then those are things that we're going to put under your authentic self. Okay, so this is our our self inventory. This is what it's gonna, what it looks like. Okay. Mm. Pause. <laughs> this is our self inventory. Okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna you know we we already found out what it is that's stopping you. It's, your position at work, okay? So now that we've done that inventory, let's go ahead and come up with some goals. We've already, those, the authentic self is the goals that you you want to come, you know, you want to achieve in life. Mm -hmm. You want to have your own business. You want to manage it, pretty much, is what you said, right? Yes. Okay. So we need to put those goals into an action plan so that we can actually go from one step to the next, from your current self to your authentic self. So what kinds of things can we come up with together? Let's brainstorm on a few different things that we can do to um, to get you to you from your current self to your authentic self. Well, definitely I can start by like rebuilding back up my resume. 
That's exactly. a very good thing that we can do is mm-hmm. rebuild your resume. Um, what about, you know, actually looking through the classifieds? That could work as well. Okay. And then once you look through those classifieds and you have your new resume, what, what's the next step that we can do? Start applying. I'll start applying for jobs. <laughs> Perfect. Um, and then, you know, just we'll, we'll start doing that. And then once you apply, what do you think can happen next? Get some type of callbacks. All right. (laughs) And go for some interviews, right? Mm -hmm. So those are some really good um, steps to achieve your goals so that we can kind of get there. So that's going to be our action plan that we're going to start doing. So how about this week? You know, we talk about, or you said you wanted to rebuild your resume. So how about this week when you go home? That'll be your homework as you work on rebuilding that resume and maybe look into some some classifieds and see what's going on there. I'd love that. Okay. So, finally, I just want to let you know, we have this book um, that we kind of use that, that kind of describes logotherapy in itself. It's called The Invitation. Mm-hmm. And I'm just going to leave you with a quote about logotherapy so you can kind of understand what we do in logotherapy. So the quote is, it doesn't matter what you do for a living. I want to know what you ache for and if you dare to dream of meeting your heart's longing. Okay? So that's kind of, it fits perfect with what it is that you know, we're doing here in the logo therapy so that we can move forward and get to our authentic self. Okay? Any questions? No. No. All right, Taryn. Well, I look forward to seeing you back here again next week, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Thank you.